Hello and welcome back to the very last episode in this web series. So in this video we are going to carry on with the final section at the bottom of the main content which are these three boxes here or these three images here. Now we need to slice out one of them, there's no point doing all three because they're all the same. So I'm just going to zoom in to the middle one and I'm going to grab the slice tool over here and I'm going to create a slice around the box like that and then I'm going to zoom in a little just to refine the edges so I want to be able to grab it just above this grey line and the same on the right hand side a bit too much if I zoom in a bit more it gives you more fine grain control and there, there you go so just do the bottom now which is here And it's just now the left hand side. And drag that there. So I'm just going to zoom out a little. And if I double click on it, then we're going to have to give it a name. So I'm just going to call this bottom image. Again, you can call them what you like and save that. So now we need to save that out. So do file, save for web and devices. Make sure it's selected and click on save. And then make sure the slices is selected to selected slices and click save and that will save it into your images folder. So now we just need to go back over to Dreamweaver. So just before we add in that image, I just want to tweak a couple of things on these list items. So looking at them, I think they're a bit too close to each other. So we need to add some margin bottom on the list items to kick them away. So if I go to the style sheet, so on the UL of class of icons list item, we're going to add margin bottom of 10 pixels. And if we preview that in the web, in the design view, you can now see that there's a bit more space for them to breathe and it looks a little nicer now. And then the final thing is if we just go into the code of the index page, on the left box and the right box, there's a H2 tag, which we styled in the CSS. So if I just go into the CSS, and if we look here, so the left box h2 and the right box h2 have exactly the same styling so if we want to change say change the color of uh, both of those we have to edit both which isn't that efficient really so what we can do if we just remove all of this and we copy this because it's got this because it's using the same styling we can add it onto this one so we put a comma and put a space and paste the uh, class of right box h2 and save the page if we preview that in the design view, it'll have exactly the same effect. So as you can see, they've still got exactly the same styling, but now when we want to edit these um, H2s, we edit in one place and it'll change for both of them. Um, we can also, as well, because we copied the styling from here originally, we can group all these three together. So if we go back to the style sheet, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy these two, and I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to come up to the featured H2 because again we just copied all of this styling originally and I'm going to paste on the class of left box H2 another comma with the class of right box H2 and save that go to the index page and it's all still it looks exactly the same uh, but now if we wanted to change the color so if I change the color of the actual text to black just so you can actually see it changing, it will change on all three of them at exactly the same time. And as you can see, all three have changed by changing one place and not editing three different places. So I'm just going to change that back to the colour, which was that, and save it. So back to the index page and it's all back to normal. So the final thing we have to do is add in the three images at the bottom. So we're going to go to the style sheet. So we're going to be adding the images underneath here. Uh, the three images that is. And I've just noticed that I didn't change this earlier on to right box, so I change that now. So we're going to create another div, and we're going to give this an ID, and I'm going to just call this home page images. Again, you can call it what you like, 
and then just close that off and again we need to add our comments we don't have to but again it's just easier to read so home page images and then close that so if we just create a bit of space so inside of here we want to do img src for source and then we want to browse to that image we created this one here click ok add in the alt tag and then just close that off so I'm not going to go through that again, I'm just going to copy it and paste it below for speed and if we go to the design you can now see that's in position so we now need to style the div to kick it away from the bottom of the left and right divs here so if we go back to the code we want to grab this home page images and go to the index and come all the way down to here just underneath the uh, ul class of icons li image and then just paste in that so div of images so we're going to say margin top of 20 pixels so also we're going to add on the height and we're just going to say for the height it will be auto so if we just preview that in the design view so as you can see the icons are still right next to the left and right div so you might be thinking well you've gone wrong well the problem is we haven't cleared the floats because we floated this to the left and this to the right we now need to clear it underneath for this div um, to work correctly so if I select the home page images div you can actually see it's starting up here so it's fl basically flowing underneath the left and the right because here's our 20 pixels of margin top uh, but because we haven't cleared the float, it's not actually coming underneath these two left and right divs. So to fix that, if we go to the code, and then just after the closing right box, we want to add div with a class and clear both. And then just close that off. And now if we go to the design, you can see it's now dropped down and we've now got the, the padding, the, sorry, the margin here. So if I select the div, it's actually coming to here instead of coming up here because we've cleared out the float I hope that makes sense <laughs> so we've done that bit the next thing we need to do is add some spacing here and here to spread them out a little so if we go to the style sheet if we copy that just create a bit of space for ourselves so we're targeting, targeting the home page images but then we're targeting more specific to the images themselves and we're going to say the following we want the margin on the right of each image to be 30 pixels so if we preview that you can now see we've got 30 pixels on each side of each image now on the right hand side but we just need to fill up this tiny little bit of space by kicking this left hand image over so we need to target this image in particular so really the only way of doing that will be to create a class so on the first image here we're going to say class and we'll just call it first image and if we go to the style sheet and create the following so home page images with a class of first image we're going to say the margin on the left hand side is going to be 30 pixels and save that if we then go to the index you can now see that's kicked it away and we've now got equal spacing so the final thing would be to preview this in a web browser so if we come down the page we can actually see we've got a problem that this image is now coming all the way down so we need to change some of the, the margins so if we go to the style sheet and if we say 28 and 28 on this one and if we just go back to the web page and hit refresh so you can now see they've all come into place and that is the actual design now all completed so there's probably a couple of things we can do uh, if we just go into the to the index page and go to the code and just come up the page we haven't actually given this a title for the home page so again you can call it what you like so I'm just going to call this home page and save that and if we just go back to the web page if you look up here at the moment it says untitled document if I hit refresh it now says home page so that's that bit sorted and that's about the whole design finished really 
So thanks for watching the whole web series, leaving comments, uh, sending me messages, all that sort of stuff. What I'm actually going to do, I'm going to make all of the files I've created available for download. So you'll be able to download all the files um, from www.mattsaundersmcp.co.uk. I'll leave a link in the description below. Um, so my next web series is going to be starting from uh, Photoshop first. So we're actually going to design the, the uh, website in Photoshop. We'll then slice out all the images, we'll then create the website in Dreamweaver using the same sort of techniques we've used in this web series as well. Um, and I'll be bringing you some of the sort of mini series as well along the way. Um, I'll be posting other short uh, sort of videos, tips and tricks on my website. Like I said, the link's in the description below. So feel free to subscribe. Thanks for all your comments, all your support, and I'll catch you in the next video.